And we're learning more about a bizarre traffic stop that led to a man almost crashing into someone's house. The woman who lives there talked to News 5's Cody Long today. The car came right through here. You can still see the tracks down here in the dirt. And then the car went over here and clipped the edge of this garage before landing beside this other house. And then the driver ran down the street. News 5 requested and obtained this dash cam video. It shows police getting out, guns drawn, slowly walking up to the car driven by Anthony Abrams. And so I started trying to call my spouse and I couldn't get a hold of her. And um, it turns out she was home dealing with the police, you know, but I left her phone in the car because as soon as she pulled into the driveway, there was just all this, you know, all these police around and, and canines everywhere. That's Shelly Lynch. She lives in this house at the corner of North A Street and West Marino. She was at work at the time. Yes, my first thought was just, do I need to clock out and come home and make sure everything's okay? But I knew that the police were here and, and, and I knew that no one was in the house, so I, know, I knew that everyone was safe. Just about 30 minutes before the crash, officers tried to pull Abrams over for a window tent violation. Instead, they say he decided to drive away. Police followed and found the car down the street. It had clipped the edge of a garage, then stopped just before crashing into another house. A wrought iron fence that um, got a, a, a dented a little bit, and just the siding on our house is cracked a little bit, but I mean, very minimal, just a mess. Police took Abrams into custody near Marino and Balin just a few minutes later. Abrams is charged with hit and run and fleeing police. He was released from jail on a $16,000 bond. Reporting in Pensacola, Cody Long, News 5.